so we have studied about how to find out the median and quartile with the help of an ogive so now let us solve a very simple problem in this problem the following information has been given to us the marks of 120 students in a maths test and these marks have been provided to us in the form of a continuous class distribution as you can see so what do we have to do from this we have to draw an ogive and use the ogive in order to estimate the median the lower quartile the number of students who obtained more than 75 percent marks in the test and the number of students who did not pass in the test if the pass percentage was 40 percent so in order to do this what is the first thing we have to do the first thing we have to do is we have to find out the cumulative frequency of the given class distribution so over here from the frequency we find out the cumulative frequency that is for the first class it will be 5 then 5 plus 9 14 14 plus 16 30 30 plus 22 52 52 plus 26 78 and so on till the last class so as you can see we have obtained the cumulative frequency and the total number of students as has been mentioned is 120 so now we have to draw an ogive so let's see how we can do so over here I have taken the class distribution that is the variance on the x-axis and the cumulative frequency on the y-axis so now I will start plotting so for the first class 0 to 10 the cumulative frequency is 5 so I plot 5 which will be somewhere in between 0 and 8 so I plot it here next for the class 10 to 20 I have to plot 14 so 14 will be somewhere in between 8 and 16 thus it will lie somewhere over here in a similar manner I will continue plotting the cumulative frequencies for all the classes for 20 to 30 the cumulative frequency is 30 thus it will be just below 32 for 30 to 40 the cumulative frequency is 52 so it will be below 56 and above 48 for 40 to 50 the cumulative frequency is 78 thus for 40 to 50 I have to plot 78 which will be just below 80 likewise for 50 to 60 and all the other classes I will plot the cumulative frequency so then I have to plot 96 which is this point for 60 to 70 it is 107 which is going to lie in between 112 and 104 for 70 to 80 it is 113 which will lie just above 112 for 80 to 90 it is 117 so it is going to lie below 120 and lastly for 90 to 100 the cumulative frequency is 120 so I will mark 120 over here now if you recall in order to draw an ogive it has to be done with the free hand so no ruler can be used because no straight lines are involved in an ogive so the drawing of the ogive will start from the origin and it has to intersect all these points it will be intersecting this point as well and go so this is the ogive that we obtain after we draw the ogive freehand always note and remember that the ogive will have to intersect each and every point that you are marking on the graph so now we have to find out the median from the ogive as you can see from the cumulative frequency the total number of students 120 is even so I have to find out the corresponding point on the y-axis which is going to give me the median on the x-axis so that will be given by a point a which is equal to 120 by 2 which is equal to 60 so I have to find out where 60 lies on the y-axis 
So in order to do so, I have to find out the point 60. So the point 60 is going to lie somewhere in between 56 and 64. And since 60 is the midpoint, it is going to lie exactly in between 56 and 64. So now from 60, the point on the y axis, I draw a horizontal line, a straight line and make it meet the ogive. Now from that point on the ogive where the line meets, I will draw a vertical line perpendicular to the x axis. So as you can see, once I have done so, this point is giving me the median and that will depend on the scale you have taken. So from this curve, I can say the median is equal to the median is equal to 44. So 44 is the median or the number that divides the distribution in two parts. So now we need to find out the lower quartile for the given data set. As you can see over here, n is even, which is equal to 120. So as n is even, we need to plot a point on the y axis that will correspond to a, which is equal to n upon 4. Now n is 120. So 120 divided by 4 is 30. So we need to find the point 30 on the y axis. So let us see where that point lies. 30. From this point 30, I will drop a horizontal line on the given ogive. You will find that this point is somewhere on the ogive. From this point where the horizontal line cuts the ogive, I will drop a vertical line on the x-axis. Now the point where this vertical line has met the x-axis will give me the lower quartile for the given data set. Now as you can clearly see, this point that is Q1 or the lower quartile is equal to 30 because the vertical line has met the x-axis at 30. So the lower quartile for the given data set is equal to 30. Now let us get into the interesting part. So far we have been finding out the given quantities median as well as the lower quartile through fixed formulae. Now how are we supposed to find out the number of students who obtained more than 75% marks? Because obviously there is no direct formula to do so. So let us see how we can do so. Firstly, since we are talking about marks and we have to find out the number of students, we have to start marking from the x-axis because the x-axis represents marks, which is the class distribution given to us. So we have to find out the number of students who obtained more than 75%. So in order to do this, the midpoint, that is the point in between 70 and 80, representing 75, I will start drawing a vertical straight line from that point. So it is going to meet the ogive at some particular point. From that point, I am going to draw a horizontal line. Again, a horizontal straight line to meet the y axis at a particular point. So the point where it meets the y axis is going to convey some information. Can you tell me what information it will convey? At this point, that is the y axis, it is going to tell me how many students have obtained at most 75% marks. That is, students who have obtained 75% marks or less. So this point, I can mark it to be, since it lies just below 112, it is 110. So this point which corresponds to 75% on the ogive, on the y-axis it is equal to 110. Now this 110 is the figure of students who have obtained at most 75% marks. In which place I have to find out students who have obtained more than 75% marks. So what will that be? That will be nothing but the total number of students who have appeared for the exam, 120 minus this particular value, 
that is the number of students who have achieved at most 75% marks so the required value will be 120 minus 110 that is 10 students let me explain it again in a simpler manner firstly what we do is the given marks that is the given information that is provided we have to take that as the point on the x-axis and start drawing a vertical straight line upwards the point where it meets the ogive from that point we have to draw a horizontal straight line that meets the y-axis the point where it meets the y-axis will convey some information this information is that the number of students who have achieved at most 75 percent marks that is 75 or less than 75 so we can say 110 students out of 120 students have achieved at most 75 percent and not more than that so how can we find out the students who have achieved more than 75 percent marks simply subtract this value from the total number of students who have appeared for the examination and that will give us 10 so we can say that 10 students have obtained or achieved more than 75 percent marks now we have to find out the last thing that was required that is the number of students who did not pass in the test it was given to us that the pass criteria is or the pass marks is 40 percent so students who have secured above 40 percent have passed and students who have secured below 40 percent have not passed so let us see how we can find that out again over here the information given to us is 40 that is the value provided to us so similar to the previous case I start drawing a straight line vertically upwards from 40 and from that point I will draw a straight line a horizontal straight line which meets on the y-axis now since this value corresponds to a value which we had obtained in the cumulative frequency table we can say that this value without further ado is equal to 52 thus we can say that 52 students have not passed in the test why because 52 students have achieved at most 40 marks that is 40 marks or less so from this particular ogive since this is the point that we are getting we can clearly say that 52 students have not passed in the test because they have obtained a value that is less than 40 so taking a quick recap let me explain the vital points to you as you saw that the median and quartiles can be obtained very easily with the help of formulae but in the case where we have to find out the number of students or the number of occurrences which are more than or less than some given criteria in the problem we can do so by considering points beyond or points below so taking a quick recap when we had to find out the number of students who had obtained more than 75 percent we took 75 as the reference on x-axis and we drew a straight line vertically upwards so from the point on the ogive where this straight line met we drew another horizontal straight line meeting the y-axis now that point on the y-axis would give us the number of students who had achieved 75 percent marks at most that is 75 percent maximum or below it so if i simply subtract that amount from the total number of students who have appeared for the test it will give me what lies beyond 75 or in other words it will give me the students who have achieved more than 75 percent marks similarly when we have to find out the number of students who did not pass in the test it means basically the problem wants us to find out the number of students who have obtained below 40 that is just another way of saying it so if I have to find out the number of students who have achieved below 40 marks again I carry out the similar procedure I take 40 as the reference on the x-axis and I draw a vertical line upwards from the point where it meets the ogive I draw a horizontal line now 
in this case it is very convenient because 40 is a class limit and it corresponds to a point which we had previously marked in order to draw the ogive. So this point in this case is 52 and thus we can say that 52 students have achieved 40% marks at most. That is they haven't been able to cross the 40 mark. So thus we can say since these students have not been able to cross the 40 mark, 52 students have not passed in the test.